they're combing through what they call uh, computers and other electronics found in that apartment. Uh, Professor Dershowitz, is this a case of felony murder, whereby in many states you commit a felony and someone dies, you are just as responsible for murder as you would be if you'd actually shot the person, or is this something else? No, it, you can make the case for felony murder. It would be a, an absurd application of an absurd law. The felony murder uh, con concept itself, which started in England and has been abolished in England, is uh, an absurd misapplication of the law. Uh, here you have a man who was addicted, who went out and got the drugs from somebody. That somebody didn't want him to die. Uh, he, he didn't die because... That someone person... didn't care. If they're dealing in well, heroin, they don't care. No, that's I don't I don't think that's right. I think when you have they're worse a than drunk drivers. Come on, Professor look, Professor look, look, They are worse than drunk drivers get, if they're dealing this, heroin to addicts. This is a guy who was going to get his heroin no matter what. If this guy didn't sell it to him, somebody else was going to sell it to him. If he didn't get it in the country, he was going to get it out of the country. This raises the big issue of whether we should be decriminalizing. Uh, all these drugs, making them into a medical issue. The idea of searching for a scapegoat. Look, notwithstanding what Dr. Uh, Drew said and other people said, this great actor, who I was a big fan of, I saw him on Othello, I saw him in Death of a Salesman. I know this culture. My, my, my daughter is a young actor uh, off-Broadway now, thank God. She's not into any of these kinds of things. But uh, this is a culture that exists, and to start pinpointing responsibility for the person who provided him the drugs is a search for a scapegoat in a situation that requires a much more careful analysis and thinking about, let's just get this guy who did it. The same thing happened when Belushi died. The same thing happened when other famous people die. You go after the last person who sold them the drugs. He's the one or she's the one who goes to jail, and the problem continues. It's a foolish quest, and I think it may end up in a criminal prosecution, but it's not going to make the problem go away, and it's not going to make it any easier for you future are people in the act. You are smarter than I am. You are smarter than I am, but I will never leave this without saying the guy who gave an addict the drug that killed him deserves to go away for life. What about I just the guy feel who like gave the addict the drug that didn't kill him? It doesn't make him uh, any you know, less guilty. The, the, the why, poor why user is, can't help it at Russian this point. Russian roulette. You're playing Russian roulette. In this particular case, he died. In many cases, they don't. So you're going to pick and scapegoat and put this guy in jail With a sick for all man? the crimes yes. that all the other addicts did. That's just me. Mark O'Mara, last word real quickly. Why am I wrong? The, you're not. The government has done a number of different things to try and hold people responsible. The whole RICO action where we hold people responsible for the overall crime. I like the idea of saying to somebody, if you give a drug that causes a death, we're going to hold you responsible. Only because I think we have to go up the ladder so that at some point we get to the people and let them know dealing drugs can put you in prison for life.